Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings and hi Sagittarius. Let's see what messages are going to show up for you. In case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended to find out how's your person thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. It will be linked below for you guys. Now let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Okay, so for a lot of you, I feel like you're going through some form of heartbreak at the present moment, Sagittarius. Um, there is something or somebody you are probably disconnecting from, okay? Um, and with this um, justice energy and financial and material changes, I do feel like there could be something legal going on in your life or something about your finances that I see you handling. But emotionally, I'm getting that you are not feeling the very best, but you know, you could be trying to get over something. I feel like for some of you, you probably think that you've opened up already to somebody and you don't have much to say to them anymore, okay? Let's see though what the Three of Swords here is telling you. The meaning of this card revolves around disappointment, sorrow, separation, which can cause upheaval and distress. It takes all the strength you have at this moment in order to move past the pain and heal your heart. The love that has been given to another should now be focused on you. Although you might look at this card as being negative, it can act as a tremendous catalyst encouraging you to move on. The painful experiences of life are just as valuable as the joyous ones. You may not appreciate that sentiment at this challenging time, but life does not uh, sorry, life does have a way of pushing you forward, even though you may not always know the final destination. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past, but use your strong mental control to deal with your emotions. Have faith in knowing that you will get through this. So I do see that you're moving past this pain. And if you look at this balance card here, it has all the elements. It has uh, fire, air, earth, and water. And, you know, it, it's almost like... Things are coming back to a place of stability for you and it is all a part of the divine plan. Some of you might also be seeing a lot of 1111 or number 11, 15, 5 or 3 could be significant for you. Okay, that could be your birthday or your life path number. So another thing I'm getting here is that if you just surrender to spirit and let things flow for you naturally, I do feel like, yes, things are changing for you. And a lot of you are not even seeing these changes coming. So you may be, you know, you may get worried from time to time that, oh, what is happening to me or why are things going a certain way for me? But the good news is that, you know, that pain is transforming. Okay. And you're being transformed through this pain, actually. All right, show me what's up with Sagittarius, please. Eight of Cups reverse, Six of Cups. Somebody's thinking about the past. It's hard for you to let go of this person. And if not, maybe it's hard for them to let go of you. Somebody is unable to let go of the other person here from what I can see. Show me more, please. Show me what's up with Sagittarius. nine of wands see your energy is closed off at the present moment you're focused on yourself and you're pulling back your energy from something 
okay? Yeah, the devil and the strength card. I feel like a lot of you, Sagittarius, you're holding back from something toxic. Okay, and with the strength card, there's a lot of um, energy here of you refraining from doing something. Some of you are also in this hermit energy where you're not that open to love, you know, but as your reading is progressing, I do see new beginnings. Look at that. You have the full, the page of cups and the ace of wands. So I feel like the current time that you're going through, you may be feeling a little bit closed off and you may be feeling like things are hard to manifest for you. But, you know, with this one here, Page of Cups, Fool, and the Ace of Wands, I do see that things are falling back into place. And there are new beginnings with the Fool and the Ace of Wands, something that you're passionate about. But the Fool card also asks to have almost like this carefree kind of attitude. So we have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, and the Two of Swords. I feel like Sagittarius, you also feel a little bit confused, okay? Because it's almost like, yes, you're trying to focus on your finances, your goals, your money, and, you know, your long-term stability. But there's a situation here that pulls you in another direction, okay? And yes, there's focus, but there are distractions along with that, okay? Some of you also are working on a project or working on something work-related, um why do i get sagittarius that your energy is a little bit like blocked okay due to something show me future energies for sagittarius temperance king of cups reverse and the magician reverse these are also your future energies, by the way. I like that you're coming back to your own energy with the temperance card, Sagittarius. But there's a situation here that's out of your control, okay? I feel like a lot of you are emotionally withdrawing from something as well with the King of Cups reverse. What is the challenge for um, Sagittarius? Because of that heartache and, you know, that painful situation, a lot of you, I feel like, are choosing not to open up to love. And, you know, you may have your own reason for it. Um, but it's like you're surrendering control. What is the challenge for Sagittarius? And advice, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, Two of Cups, Six of Cups, Page of Wands. So the thing here is that there's a past connection here, okay? There could be a past person who's going to come back in your life in the next three months. And this is somebody you share a deep, deep soulmate connection with, okay? But the problem here is that your challenge over the course of the next three months is having to contemplate on things and heal before you make a decision. Ten of Pentacles is telling you that there's a lot more to appreciate, okay? Ten of Pentacles is long-term stability. It's a relationship. It's where we all strive to be stability-wise, okay? So your advice here is to focus on things that bring you that or bring you those experiences. But your challenge here is that sometimes you have a very restless energy and it's like you need to be out of this, a little bit out of this Sagittarius energy of I want to do it, I want to do it and get into the hermit energy to be able to really see things clearly because sometimes when we make hasty decisions, more often than not, we do uh, regret them, okay? And your challenge here is to not make those decisions. And sometimes when we are a part of a situation and we're so deeply immersed in it, we, re we, we don't really see where it's taking us. So instead of doing something because you feel forced to do it, try to take a step back and reevaluate. 
and that reevaluation has to come from a place of your past experiences so that you're not repeating the same kind of mistakes again but let's see Let's clarify for you. What's the devil? I feel like Sagittarius, there's something you keep walking away from, but somehow that situation comes back around. And because you decide to walk away from it and that situation comes, at, comes back around, it creates a toxic dynamic okay you this is something you have hopes for but at the i feel like you know the toxic thing about this this situation is that you have hopes you don't want it to end with the tower reverse but with the eight of cups there's no choice but to leave it be and it's like being stuck between should i really let go of this or should i really make it work and that is what hurts you the most because you're emotionally invested in something and you have to disconnect and walk away from somebody that you don't want to, okay? So it's about choosing rationality and practicality over what we are just hoping for. It's almost like a temptation for you, okay? And you're already holding back from it. I don't need to tell you to hold back from it, right? What's the strength card, please? What's the strength card? You're avoiding a past person, Sagittarius, you are. Some of you feel like this person has ruined their reputation with you. It's not because you hate them or because you have something, you know, bad in your heart for them. It's just that you're choosing to walk away or hold back from this. Yes, you have memories with this person. Yes, there are good memories, but you're choosing to not entertain that and choosing to walk away, okay? Show me this page of cups, fool, and the ace of wands. What is this new experience? Now, over the course of the next uh, three months, I also feel like there's something new coming in your life. With the fool card, it's, it's like new experiences. So a lot of you might be going to new places or there will be new opportunities. Something new is about to happen in your life in the next uh, three months. Okay, Sagittarius. And with the ace of wands and the page of cups, that tells me you also have interest in it. So it's either that you're going to be experiencing things that you also love and also, you know, the Fool card also talks about opening up to these experiences. So you have the Temperance Reverse Four of Cups. <laughs> it's almost like a lot of you also desire to move forward, don't you? It's, you're, you're tired of the energies being stuck. And because you're tired of something being stuck, it's kind of like pushing you forward towards something, something else. Because here your energy is temperance reverse. And again, in the future, it's temperance upright. So it's, it's almost like a journey from disconnecting and connecting back to yourself. And that inner disconnect has also been making you feel very overwhelmed and unhappy.
And that Four of Cups can sometimes also represent opportunities coming our way, but our, and the Fool card is right above that. So if you notice, he's not really paying attention to the opportunity coming towards him, but there's a Fool card right before that. So there is something you're going to be presented with. There's something that's going to come in your life, but are you paying attention? Are you willing to move towards this? Because I feel like a lot of your reading has also to do with a shift in your energy. The moment you do it is the moment things are going to change for you. Five of Cups, Seven of Swords. Yeah, you're avoiding somebody who lied to you or you're avoiding somebody who was hiding things from you with the Seven of Swords, Five of Cups. There's a lot of disappointment, sadness coming from somebody's lies or deception. For some of you, there was a person who, like there's somebody in your life who used to come whenever they needed from something from you and then leave. So it, it left you in this place of feeling like they used you for something, Sagittarius, and you're avoiding this person now. But this experience is also making you a little bit uncomfortable to open up to new experiences. So you're having a hard time forgiving or be more um, vulnerable towards something. There's a lot of mental toughness in your energy. But at the same time, it's not about closing up. It's about opening up to new opportunities, Sagittarius. What's the King of Cups reverse, Magician reverse? I feel like these are your own energies. This is your own emotional withdrawal. And um, some of you need a vacation or some of you need to just take a break, okay? And if that is what you need, then take it. Because if you don't, it's only gonna pile up upon itself, okay? And you're gonna feel even more stressed than where you began, okay? Seven of Cups. So some of you are also gonna be having options in love. There's an offer coming towards you. I feel like there are things, okay, coming in your life. But because it seems so overwhelming, you may be like, I don't want any of it. Because Seven of Cups can represent choices. It can represent confusion at times as well. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, it is suggested that you to do take a break. Some of you need to take a break because your challenge was also the hermit energy. Hermit analyzes, okay? He uh, brings in a sense of practicality to something, okay? What's the, what's the temperance, please? What's the temperance, please? the lovers the two of cups the ace of wands queen of pentacles oh my god so listen up sagittarius you have options in love okay but king of cups reverses emotionally not being available to something okay but the king of cups and the queen of cups in your future are showing upright okay and then there is the lovers the two of cups the Ace of Wands, which is here as well, and the Queen of Pentacles. And then you have the King of Pentacles here. So I'm really getting Sagittarius. In the long run, you're manifesting a soulmate, okay? There's somebody you're going to be in a relationship with. Because Ten of Pentacles is also your advice. And Ten of Pentacles also means a relationship or long-term stability. 
and because your energy is a little bit scattered right now you may not be seeing this coming okay three of swords reverse it's about letting go of that pain have you noticed that the cards in your reading showed up as reverse and then got upright or showed upright and then got reverse so i feel like there is a lot that is turning around for you it's like a turning point in your life but it also requires healing and patience for your own self because all of that shift happens when your energy shifts you're being prepared for things to change but you're also being told to shift your perspective and take some time if it's needed instead of just going from one thing to another so there's a lot more to come for you and nobody's saying you to rush your healing or to be okay just like that no it doesn't happen that way i know that but at least give yourself that time where you can make things right when you can make things work okay The rest I'm going to clarify in the extended who's coming towards you in love, your past person, new person, if there's any, and your finances and things like that. So do check it out. It'll be linked below for you. So we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. A lot of you are healing and I feel like some of you are also into spirituality. Okay. That seems to be a big focus for your life right now. We also have children. Some of you may be focused on your children if you have children or there is somebody who behaves like a child. I don't know. Children could be involved in the situation worth waiting for it see so again worth waiting for is kind of like reminding you that what's to come for you is better than what has passed finances and career so i do feel like there is uh, an improvement in your finances money is getting better for you but at the same time it is suggested that you do focus on your spiritual healing or listen to your intuition because i feel like sometimes you also avoid your intuition what is the guided message for sagittarius to close off this reading worry I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome and balance. See, so if you notice, the word balance has come twice in your reading. And this is a sign. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So a lot of you are being told to bring back that balance, okay? You're worried about something that is outside of your control. It's time to release what you're worried about, okay? So I want you to affirm and put it in the comment section if you're interested, if you would like. Just putting your energy in it is what matters. So I want you to affirm that I'm letting go of worries. I let go of my worries and I open myself up to new beginnings. Okay. That's about it, Sagittarius. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And check out the extended link in the description box if you are interested. Take care and bye-bye.